Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and this is uh, a little explanation for the shortwave for beginners once again and what is the uh, upper or lower sideband or single sideband what is that exactly so we talked about how most international broadcasters are what we call AM mode well what is single sideband it's a um, simplified basically what they did on single sideband is remove the carrier an AM signal has a carrier or if you want you know if you notice when there's nothing broadcast no sound on an AM signal you still see that a signal is there and you could see it with if you have a signal indicator on the radio it shows that there's a signal if you have a SD um, any uh, as um, software defined radios what happened is you actually could even visualize that signal. That is a very inefficient way of broadcasting. So one of the things that was done is creating single sideband. Single sideband is an AM signal, if you want, where they remove the carrier. That means when they don't talk, when there's no information to send, there's nothing being sent out. You're not broadcasting. It also uses only one side. Here on the picture that you see, it says lower and upper sideband because on an AM signal, you have both sidebands. The, the voice that you hear, the music you're listening to, is using both sides of that carrier, both sides of the center frequency you're tuned to. But without a carrier, a uh, single sideband can be simply using one one side of that um, frequency. So that's why it's called lower sideband and upper sideband. Lower, it means that when you're tuned to a frequency, you're listening from that frequency down. Let's say you're listening to an amateur radio operator on 7200. Well, you're actually listening to lower sideband. So the information is 7200 and a few kilohertz down, so 7199, 7198, and so on. Upper sideband on the other side. That means if you're on 20 meters, 14200, you would be broadcasting above, so from 14200 above. The bandwidth, you can choose you know, a, a very wide bandwidth if you want, but most of the single sideband signals are smaller in bandwidth. So. To simplify why single sideband exists, well, first you don't have that carrier that is always there that costs a lot of money in transmission power. Second, you take less space on the radio spectrum, so you can actually have much more single sideband signals packed one next to each other than you would have AM signals. And of course, because there's no carrier, it doesn't cost as much to transmit. So it's very efficient in its transmission. So the last thing that is kind of cool about upper lower sideband on a good radio, a uh, higher end radio where you have separate upper lower sideband listening capability, you can actually have a broadcast on the lower sideband and a different broadcast on the upper sideband at the same time. And they won't even interfere with each other because one goes down by the frequency you're tuning, the other one goes up. So just by switching upper and lower sideband, you switch program if you want. An example that I hear all the time is a pirate station, for example, that broadcasts in upper sideband, and then you put yourself in lower sideband and you hear fishermen that are actually talking in Spanish. That happened to me quite a few times, actually. So you have to, kind of two separate things that you can listen to centered on the same frequency you're listening to. So that's why single sideband exists. More efficient, takes less power, and uh, you have a lot more space for transmissions out there in the shortwave spectrum because it's smaller in size. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.